Hey everyone, Mike here from Minnesota Shooting Sports, and I'm out here at the range this afternoon uh, because I want to do a little experiment. Uh, I don't know if you all saw the episode, but a couple of weeks ago on Let's Talk Bench Rest with uh, Kentucky Rimfire and Hobbies, one of the things that we went off on uh, talking about was ammunition and things that affect ammunition like temperature. Now, I personally don't have any previous experience of you know, knowing whether there's any truth or, you know, uh, or not to uh, you know, throwing your ammunition in a cooler like what some of the guys were saying uh, and having it colder than what the outside is. So I figured, you know what, let me come out here and uh, you know, test that out and you know, try that uh, uh, out and see if I can prove it out one way or another. So along with the SK Pistol Match Special, I've got the chronograph out here, I've got my uh, Kestrel out and the Kestrel says it is 90 degrees out here on this bench right now, which is probably about right because this has been one of the warmest weekends uh, we've had this year so far in Minnesota. Uh, it's 1.33 in the afternoon on a Sunday uh, and I'm at 50 yards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot uh, a five round group with ambient temperature ammunition and then I'm going to pull some ammo that's been on uh, you know, ice essentially over here out and shoot a five round group with that. And the reason I brought this rifle out to do it was because I figure if I load up a magazine with chilled ammo by the time I get to the fifth round uh, in this kind of temperature, that ammo isn't going to be as cold as it actually came out of there. And what the guys that were talking about doing this, they're doing bench rest shooting more than anything, so it's going to probably be single fed ammunition uh, to begin with. So that's how we're going to do this out, and I again, I figured that the Walnut Hill being a falling block, it's going to be the easiest rifle I've got to just pull a round out and not change the temperature of the round by, you know, getting it in the chamber and then closing it up and, you know, giving her a rip. So we're going to go ahead and get this going here. Uh, I figure first I will show you another uh, cool gadget I got out here uh, with me today, and it is an uh, forward-looking infrared uh, heat gun. So let's go ahead and get this thing recording so I can grab some data there. So uh, the camera out there is in a little bit of sun, so it's 97.2 degrees is what it's reading the camera is. Uh, it's reading that uh, the, uh, the receiver of this rifle is 96 degrees. Uh, the ammunition we're going to be shooting is 89 degrees. Uh, the target backers out there are 96, 97 ish degrees. And oh, we got a fan going because it's so damn warm. Uh, and then I've got the ammo I'm going to be shooting. And when I pull it out and single feed it, this ammo is 70, you know, 4, 75 degrees. So uh, I've got probably a 20 degree difference in ammunition temperature and I just want to find out how or if that actually has any effect on my group size, uh, my standard deviation, various muzzle velocities, and does it change my point of uh, impact downrange as well if it's uh, colder or warmer. So anyway, let's go ahead and get the downrange camera going and give this a rip. Okay, first round, ambient temperature.
to snap a picture of this real quick, even though I'm going to save the data. Uh, but uh, SD 9.9, 1109.2. Actually, I won't even bother. I will just save it. All right, let's do. ammunition out of the cooler that was at least 20 degrees cooler and we'll shoot the target to the right of that one Four. Five. And we'll get it back in the cooler. And uh, the previous SD was 9.9. .9. This SD is a 4.2. So let me save that to tie it into the video here. Okay, we are going to drop to the target on the left, on the bottom here, and do this again. I would almost say that that might have been me, except the standard deviation jumped from a, a 4.1 to a 5.7 average after that fourth shot. So, and uh, we've got a 6.0 standard deviation. So let's save this. And we'll shoot another group with the ammunition on ice. And that's a 6.1 SD. So the SD didn't change between the second uh, set with ambient temperature and the second cooled ammunition. So I don't know if I'm figuring anything out or not, but I've got one more target up and we'll do some more of this. I just need to adjust this camera. Do it again. Uh, save this. All right. Uh, top target. Actually, we'll do two 10 round groups.
because I've got some CCI blue box over here and I'd like to do the bottom two targets because uh, I got some CCI in the cooler as well and some out on the bench so we're going to do a little with that too just to see if it makes a difference with difference with a more budget ammunition. Last round of ambient temperature, SK. And a 5.5 standard deviation, 1107 average. So let's save this. Ten rounds of chilled ammo. I gotta get a picture of this. Two point nine standard deviation on a ten round string with ammo at seventy uh, degrees versus ninety degrees. So uh, it might be something there because the first uh, uh, group that I did with it as well, there was like a four you know difference on the SD. So uh, we will do some CCI and uh, wrap this up. Ambient temperature, CCI. And last round of CCI ambient. Standard deviation of 19.8, 1071 uh, feet per second. So, and, and which runs what is it again? CCI. Alright, <laughs> chilled CCI, target next to it. All right, uh, 15.2 on the SD with a 1072.8 uh, average. So it picked up a little speed and the SD went down. And it kind of seems like that's what has been the, the case all along here. So I think there is something to be said for uh, you know, doing this with the ammo 
The groups ain't going to tell me a whole heck of a lot here today because of the wind that I'm dealing with. But I am going to do this again on a calmer day at 100 yards and see what it does there. So, But anyway, if you found it interesting, make a comment down below if there's something else you'd like to see You know, when I do the next go around with this. You know, tell me about that as well. And as always, I look forward to seeing you at the range.